Okay, welcome everybody to Foxborough High School Gymnasium. This is Kurt Buckner. I'm with Brian Buckner and Jordan Vining. We're here tonight for the opener for the uh, Lady Warriors. As we have the uh, introductions here, um, Foxborough and Attleboro, the Bombardiers and the Warriors. Um, should be a really good game. Both teams had great seasons last year. And um, it should be very exciting. Foxborough loses its number one scorer, Kat Tamulonis, so they gotta make that up. They got four sophomores starting the, uh, tonight. Attleboro uh, returns the majority, almost all their players. So again, um, a young team, but they're returning everybody. So uh, again, should be a fantastic first opening round matchup tonight. What do you guys think? Uh, Foxborough's got a lot of underclassmen. Maybe some inexperience, but hopefully they'll, uh, they'll pull this one away. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have some inexperience, but Ashley Sampson, Lily Sykes, and Grace Tamulonish were in at crunch time last, uh, all the playoff games last year. Definitely. Um, as they're being introduced here, so. Um, Shane Smalley is one of those sophomore starters that's our first year here on varsity. Playing the posts. Now we got Grace Tamulonis coming in, who was critical in the Duxbury game last year. Scored 14 points in the final final game. She actually outscored her sister, if you can believe that. Sweet shot. Now here comes uh, one of your classmates, Cassidy Harrison, the only senior that's starting tonight. So uh, she's one of the captains as well. Yep. So we're gonna stand for the national anthem now. All right, excellent. So let's just go over real quick. Last year, Attleboro was 14 and nine, uh, 10 and six in the Hockamuck. They lost in the Division One uh, first round, Division One South first round. Their coach is Rick Patch, who's well known in the AAU circuit. Uh, he does a lot of clinics over at Mplex. His second year as the coach, really turned them around. Attleboro is favored to win the Kelly Rex Division this year. Foxboro 21 and three last year. They made it to the South Final versus Duxbury. And uh, Lisa Downs is the coach. Um, again, Kat Tamulonis is gone. The Hockamuck MVP gradu graduated. So uh, we'll see what Foxborough has. But like I said, these three sophomores that are out there right now um, were in crunch time last year. So they're, they're experienced players and probably ready to go tonight. Seems to be equal height out here on the court. Attleboro wins the tip. Brings it up here with uh, Fatima McDonald, the senior point guard. Looking for big things from her this year. Good backdoor pass by McDonald. They get the offensive rebound and put it in. Sam Pierce with a nice land. Samson's lightning quick, brings it down, but gets rejected. Sam Pierce making Sam Pierce plays. again on both ends of the court. Alabro throws it away. So I'm pretty sure, guys, that Foxborough can try to push it up almost on every uh, every possession here. Very quick team, um, but looks like Alabro might be up to the task. They look like they also have some quickness on their team. 
Sampson playing the point. Over to Sykes. Tapped out of bounds by number 12, Jordan Lacko. Lacko's a freshman um, that's uh, done some really good things in preseason. Alvaro seems to be a man. Looks like they might be paying like a, uh, a matchup zone here. Out to Sykes, over to Tamulonis, takes the shot. Just Good left the rim. Good Smalley rebound. It out. Good rebound by Smalley. That's what you're looking for from her. Try to get it in. Smalley can't handle it. McDonald coming back the other way. Kick ball by Sykes. Foxborough got back nicely on defense. I don't think anybody's going to out hustle him. Adelbert on the side. Leading scorer is, uh, is Emily Hooley, number three for Attleboro. This is where Foxborough may have an Achilles heel. They don't have a large team. I mean, besides Smalley, they're very small. Gotta but be quick. aggressive down low. Seems like Sam Pierce is crossing the boards pretty hard for Attleboro. It's very long. Look at Sampson, my goodness. Nice, Smalley takes the side jumper. Hits it. Fox Pro's in a full court man-to-man -man press here. Five, Five seconds. seconds. Wow. Great pay by Foxbro, catching him off guard, catching Albert off guard. It's now two to two, 627 left in the first. Oh, good pass and kick out to Grace. Nice, nice jump shot. Shot. Good shooting yeah, by Foxbro so far. McDonald up. Oh, what a good play save by Alberto. Great save by Julia Strakan. She's a transfer from North Attleboro this year, so they uh, had a transfer that's going to help their team even more, returning pretty much every starter. Attleboro has it under the basket. Inbound it to Pierce, and she takes a three. Bang! Oh, and she looks down the crowd. That was a three. Oh, Ashley Sampson gets hammered going to the hoop. That's the third time she's taken it to the hoop. You'd like to see that, being aggressive, taking it to the hole. It's a great take. Two shots. Sampson from the line. This is the first one. Sampson misses both. Rebound by Alba. Alba comes down with the rebound. Nice oh. give and go. Oh, got a box out. Great give and go to Sarah Dea. She's their other top scorer, 32. And the ball's tipped out of bounds by Alba. Lily Sykes taking it out with Sampson. No, nope, now uh, Harrison's coming over. Great ball handlers, Foxborough. Two of them, Sampson and Sykes, very good ball handlers. Get Over inside to Smalley. Smalley. Nice she job. Smalley does a little baby hook in. Nice yeah, job there by Smalley. Looking Smalley. solid so far for the sophomore. Alibro throwing the ball away. Oh, and it seems to be tipped up by Alibro. Foxboro ball. Great pressure by Foxboro. Both teams are full court pressing here. Kind of interesting first game. Trying to press it here a little bit, see if they can get some turnovers going the other way, and it's worked so far for Foxborough. Sampson up top over to Harrison. Back to Sampson. Over to Sykes. Lisa Downs calling a play here. Looks like Alibro's playing kind of a matchup zone here. Matching up up top, but zone the rest of the way. Got to be some contact there. Oh, oh nice play by, uh, by Harrison. As the shot clock expires. And the foul on Grace Tamulonis there. Good take to the hole by number 12. Jordan. 
Jordan Laco, that's the freshman. So uh, she'll take two shots. And number 12 takes it here, nice and strong, gets fouled. Yes. Yeah, in and out. If Tammy Lunas just stands straight up, probably get the charge, but she kind of, you know, went after the ball a little bit, reached for the ball, so he's going to call a foul there. Good shot by Laco. Fox Bros up 8 6 with 4.42. Sampson up top. Pass down to the corner to uh, Harrison. Harrison, ooh, jump pass out to Sykes. Good fake by Sykes, wow. Sykes likes the no look pass. Over to Sampson. Sampson drives to the hoop, dishes out to Harrison. Bang! Nails a three. What a shot. That's a three, and that's Harrison's specialty. She's, she's deadly from three point. Number three with the three. Oh, another turnover, Foxborough here. Oh. And the foul on Sykes. Able to create turnovers Great here for, by Foxborough. Yeah, for Foxborough. But you like to see some transition baskets coming back the other way off turnovers. That's how they made a living last year, Foxborough going 21-3. Uh, Sampson over to Harrison on the wing. Pick away by Sampson, cut the ball up to Sykes. Over to Sampson. Sampson taking it to the hole again. Nice job, gets hammered. Going for two shots here. Great aggression by Ashley Sampson today. She's not so afraid far. to take the hoop. She's got a really quick first step. She makes the front end here. Makes the second one. Fox broke in, full court, man-to-man -man press here. Trapping in the corner. Great pressure. Oh, and Rick Patch calls a timeout. Yeah, calls a timeout. Time you know, something wow. interesting wow. here, you guys, is I do not see Emily Hooley on the court, number three. Neither do I. Yeah, she was their, their uh, leader last year in scoring. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. If she changed numbers or uh, she's hurt or what's going on there. But uh, Fox Pro looks good so far. Playing a crisp game, it's 13 to six. So they've doubled them up with 351 left in the uh, in the first quarter here. <clears throat> uh, Lisa's you know stuck with the with the f you know five starters for most of the first quarter here. How do you think they look? I think they look great. You know they're finishing finishing their shots, pressuring the ball, getting turnovers, pushing the ball. Yep, they're using their speed against Attleboro. Smalley looks good down low. Looks pretty powerful. Definitely, Foxborough takes a quick seven point lead. I think Attleboro is struggling to keep up with the fast pace right now. Yeah, definitely, I think they're wearing them down a little bit here and they're not as quick as Foxborough. Um, so we'll see what happens, see if Attleboro's in shape as we uh, continue to progress through this game. Looks like Coach Patch is sticking with the same people as well. No substitution here for either team. And Alvaro struggles to get it in, barely gets it in to number 20, their point guard. 14 over to uh, the team of McDonald running the show here. Now it's over to Laco. Laco over to uh, Straight Transfer. Can. Great rebound by Good Grace. Rebound. Grace and Ashley to looks that. to push yet again. Kicks it out to Harrison. Harrison, two. Ah, oh, rims in and out. Good rebound by Straight Can. Uh oh, Harrison's not looking too good down here. Oh, Harrison Lifting twists her back. ankle. Smalley with the great board, very strong. They're going to need Smalley and Tammy Lawrence to rebound this year because that's basically the height that they have. With Mackenzie Anderson filling in as well. Foxborough's going to slow it down a little bit. Maybe run a player. It looks like Harrison's really hurt. She's grimacing. Shot from the outside from Tammy Lonis. Bang! Hits it. That's a two. That's a two. She was on the line. But nice to see her getting the groove here. Again, man to man, tough defense. Oh, and another timeout by Coach Patch. This West is just looking real tough to beat. Definitely. So Ashley drives to the hoop, kicks out to Grace. 
Her heel's on the line, so that's a two. Good shot. Nice job. Grace is uh, continuing to pick up where she was at Duxbury last year. Duxbury game scored 14 points. Unbelievable uh, performance by her. Looking for big things this year. Looks like Patch is trying to uh, dissect this press. Yeah, you think he'd be ready for anything. Uh, Patch, really good coach, um, well known in southeastern Massachusetts. Got the job last year, and Attleboro looks really good. They look good last year and look even better potentially this year. Um, they'll be competing with Franklin and Mansfield for the Kelly Rex division this year. Definitely. So let's see who Lisa brings in for uh, Harrison here. Looks like Smalley's about to take a seat also. Okay, so who'd she bring in for those two? Like uh, Carolyn Will and Lauren Flayhive. Yep, Flayhive. Flayhive's uh, known as a defensive standout. Great athlete, plays three sports. So, uh, and Will has been known to be a very uh, streaky shooter that can really light it up for the Warriors. Definitely. Staying in the full court press here. No 10 second rule in girls oh, basketball. Oh, good D by Ashley. Great job by Ashley all over. I'd probably going to keep the ball. They get it in. Oh, the give and go to 23, and she hooks it over. Oh, great ball movement by Alibro, and the finish by number 32. Nice play all around. That's Dale, their leading scorer. Foxbro needs to keep it under control. Run their offense. That's it, Samson slows it down. Samson over to Sykes, back to Samson. Oh, back great, to Sykes. Great ball move. That was a three. That was an NBA three. Ooh. Tammy Lawrence has two fouls. Take that to the chest, fall down, they call it the other way, in my opinion. Could have been called an offensive, but Grace has got to you know, get on the ground and make sure she's stable and take the charge. That's two for Grace. She can't afford another foul here in the first quarter. Oh, we're going to look at the replay. Uh, Jordan Black are driving. Oh, you can Extreme see. Extreme contact right there. Grace just has to hold her ground, make sure her feet are still. Not going to make one good. Attleboro converts 15 to 9 with two minutes to go in the first quarter. Foxborough up. Sykes brings the ball up. Over to uh, Mailing. Mailing slipped in there. Down to Flay in the corner. The Sykes over to Mailing. He's known to takes shoot it. Shot. Takes a nice shot. Just rims off a little bit. Good crash and hustle by Lauren Flay. Uh, love to see the hustle. Ooh, a little travel there. Sam Pierce over to uh, Julia Strakan. Strakan takes the hole hard. Ooh, oh. gets hammered. Hammered. Oh, and she doesn't oh. look too hot out there. She's writhing in pain. Wow, it didn't look like she got hit that. I think it might be her knee. Because it didn't look like um, Mailing hit her very hard. Oh, you hate to see the knee. Yeah, she Wouldn't hit her fall. on the arm. Oh, my God. She seems to be in a lot of pain. Wow, that's really Not bad to see. Not looking good. You can talk to this, Brian. You uh, you tore your ACL in freshman football. That's what is correct. It, what is she feeling right now? Uh, definitely a lot of pain, uncomfort. Yeah, just wants to just wants to feel better for sure. Now the strange thing about tearing an ACL is you can get up and walk away. It's not like a broken leg. Yeah, you know? that's right. So we're hoping that she's uh, she's okay. She's the um, She's the transfer from North Attleboro, Julia Strakan. She had a really good game so far, just driving to the hoop. Looked like her knee gave out. Uh, trainer there, Amy, is out there uh, checking her knee, seeing how loose it is. Hopefully she's okay. She's got Coach Patch next to her. Foxborough, both teams huddling. So what do we got for a score here? Uh, 15 to nine, Foxborough's up, 129 the first. 129 to go. Oh, that would be horrible if first game of the year, she gets a bad injury here. She's getting up, limping off the court. I don't know if it was her knee or, or her uh, ankle, I think it was her knee though. 
Definitely yeah. a leg injury of yeah. some sort. As the Bruins would say, lower body injury. They don't like to give away anything, those pro teams. Tell the other opponents what kind of injury they have. <laughs> okay, so Patch is calling the refs over. Just trying to ask the rules, probably on substitution or, uh, oh, I know what it is, foul shots. Who's going to take the foul shot? So Foxborough keeps the same girls out. Sykes, Flayhive, Small, no, Smalley's back in, Will, and Bailey. Um, So Lisa's going to her bench here. She's comfortable going, you know, eight, nine people deep here with her bench. So Fatima McDonald will shoot the foul shots for straight can. First one's good. Yeah, well, Adderbrow makes it to double digits. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a barn burn. This is going to be a game. You can tell both teams are fired up, ready to go. They match up pretty evenly as well. Fatima with the second shot, misses. Great. Oh, and it looks like it goes off number 12's leg, Foxborough ball. Dalborough, I mean, off of Attleboro. And uh, Will's going to also have to be a, a chairman of the boards um, this year as well. Frank takes it up the court. Swing it to Malin. Back to Sykes. Sykes gets it into Smalley, out to Mailing, over to Sykes, down to Flayhive. Looking for some pockets in that zone. Adelboer runs a very, uh, very active zone. Just tip the ball over. Sykes, uh, Flayhive forces up a shot and it hits the top of the backboard. Oh, that's going to be a tough one to get out. Where's Miss P with her hockey stick? <laughs> Floor hockey. Yeah. Not going to work. Looks like Miss they need a tall boy. Jordan. There she is. She's going to run to the utility closet. <laughs> Every year this happens, and she gets that hockey stick, and she does it. She's amazing. She actually took the end off the hockey stick this year to make it easier. Specifically for getting balls out of the back yeah. of the hoop. Oh, he's oh. struggling to get it out. She oh, never there, ceases to amaze us. Great job, Miss P. Great hustle by Miss P. All right, so Foxborough, Foxborough was not really aware. I guess they were somewhat aware of the shot clock, but it ran down on them, and that uh, was a violation. Riley Collins again. Oh, Alvaro goes deep off the man-to-man -man press. What a quick play. 32 right? up and shoot. That's two. Sarah Deo. Looked like a Brady pass to me. Uh, I can agree, Brian. Sampson over to Mailing. Back to Sampson. Collins over to Sampson. Looking for pockets in that zone. Foxborough needs to have flashers come up. Great. Oh, Another man. turnover by Foxborough. Here comes McDonald. Oh, oh travel. That's a, turnover. Yeah, that's a tough call. McDonald had uh, Laco wide open for a layup, but hesitated. Turned the ball over with the travel. Sampson takes it down. Sampson looking for those pockets. Collins takes a three. Rims out. Good rebound by 23, Logie. 10 seconds left, gonna look for the quick basket. They dump it, it in. Up. Oh, great oh, defense. No oh, she oh, stays oh, with it and gets crazy. the foul. Wow, what and hustle. And one. Less Sarah than a second left. That's Dayow. Again, she was in the top 10 last year in the Hockamuck in scoring. Okay. And it looks like she's still got it. And Mackenzie Anderson checks into the game, maybe to size up with Dea. Wow, Sarah has gone through her whole bench in the first quarter. Unbelievable. That's unprecedented. Going for the shot. End of the first quarter here, 15-14. Attleboro scraping back after being down uh, by double digits there. So I think we're in for a battle here, guys. Um, 
Both teams uh, showing uh, Foxborough with his deep bench. Uh, Attleboro's pretty much sticking with their, their top five players, and we're still wondering what happened to Stacey Hooley here, their leading scorer from last year. She seemed to, s to be upset on the bench. I don't know what the uh Really? So you is. see her over there? She was, Yeah, she was uh, She was uh, dropping some tears real quick. Huh, interesting. Okay, so uh, it's 15-14. Uh, this is a tough opener for the Foxborough. Attleboro is always a real tough team. Obviously a large school in the Kelly Rex division. Foxborough's in the Davenport division. Foxborough's probably going to uh, challenge for the Davenport this year, definitely. Um, on Thursday, they have Canton, who's traditionally a weaker team in the Hockamock. So uh, this will be a tough one. And uh, hopefully uh, on Thursday they have an easier game. But um, this is a good... Uh, Good ground for Talisa to see who she's got and who's going to step up for her this year. So she's sticking with Anderson, Collins, uh, Mailing, Sampson, and Smalley. She got the two twin towers down low. You got the three guards up top. Good size in there for Foxborough right now. Both teams returning back on the court. Start the second quarter. Alvaro seems to be in some type of zone. Yeah, they're running the two-three zone, similar to what Syracuse University does. The very active zone. Hands are up, deflecting balls. Sampson takes it from the top. It rims out. Malin gets the rebound out to Sampson. Good pass from Riley. Small get turnaround. Nice take, but doesn't come through. Oh, and a turnover by Alibro on the other end. You can't have those turnovers if you're Alibro. Especially against a skilled team like Foxborough Warriors. Mailing's got it under the basket. Collins flashes to the ball. Good bounce pass into Smalley. It's a pocket pass. Smalley misses it. Sampson resets. Kicks out to Mailing. Kicks it over to Collins. Collins looks to go low. Sampson takes it hard. You can always expect a nice drive from Asher Sampson. That's correct. She's always aggressive, always wants to score. It looked like there was contact there, but they didn't call it. Foxborough stay in the zone. Doing a tough pass. Zone press here, zone press trying to trap. They fall back. Oh, Sampson a gets picked by number 12. Oh, and Dea. Gets the roll. Wow. Number 12 on Attleboro. Laco's throwing elbows yeah. like there's no tomorrow. It's all nice about pass. aggression. Yeah, nice pass into Smalley. Sampson down in the corner to Mailing. Over to McKenzie. Foxborough's got to reverse the ball. Get that backside jumper right here. Seven seconds on the oh, shot Samson clock. Drives again and a great block Samson gets hammered again. Lako up with the with the re, with nice the uh, rebound layup. Great rebound by Small. He kicks it out. Fast break to Samson. She pulls it out. Great decision by Samson. Fox Bros down 16-15. Oh, and Collins pulls up. Wow, oh, Collins is the three. Wow. wow. The junior's not afraid in her first varsity game here. Great job by Riley Collins. Foxborough playing man-to-man -man here. Foxborough is up 18-16, six minutes left, second quarter. Oh, Deo with the quick dip. Deo, nice spin dribble, gets around Smalley up with the easy layup. Foxborough did not play much man-to-man -man last year, played zone most of the year, but right now they're in man-to-man. -man. Looking at a replay, Riley Collins pops it up. Good for three. Good follow through. Great Dang. shot. Nice looking shot by right back on defense. I like the effort. I do too. It's stunning. That's her first two points at the varsity level, so great job by uh, Riley Collins. Three points. Three points, sorry. Three points. So um, you like to see Sampson start to get uh, get rolling here. She's taken to the hoop a couple times, gotten uh, blocked or, or, you know, contact. Possibly fouled. Yeah, but uh, you'd like to see Sampson and Sykes really get going. With Tammy Lonis has two fouls, so... Lisa's probably a little hesitant to bring her back in the game right now before halftime. So, you know, Sykes and Sampson should be carrying them. 
Foxborough comes out. Same, uh, now uh, Carolyn Will has come in for uh, Shannon Smalley. You now Dale looks really good. She's a big, but she moves really well. Got great footwork. Very smooth. Yeah. Finishes around the rim. Yeah. For a junior, she's looking pretty tall. Pretty mature, also. Yeah, she's a really good player. Sampson over to Collins. Back to Collins. Back to Sampson. Over to Mailing. Mailing takes the shot. Oh, gets oh. hit. She gets fouled and hits Beautiful the three. Shot. Wow. My goodness. Jimmer range. That was a beautiful I, shot. And the foul. Going to the line. It's tied up 18-18. Here's a replay real quick. Samson swings it over to Mailing. Yeah, Mailing takes pop. a deep shot. And sinks it. Sinks Finesse. it home. One shot here for Mailing. And she can She's gonna four take points it to four points. Wow, you 20, don't see that too often. That's no, you don't. You hardly ever see that. 22-18. Foxborough's up with five minutes, 5:30 left. Again, it's a day out. She looks to kick out, and great hustle by Collins, attacking the ball. Stays Alabro's ball. Alabro on the side. Foxborough staying the tough man-to-man -man here. Day out flashes up and Mish over. Logie with the rebound. rebound. Will's got a tough task here with Dayao. She's got to stay in front of her, oh, beat her the point. Left oh, my, another drive. Shot. That's a sweet baby hook. Really and hustles like back on defense. You'd love to see it from Dayao. Definitely the one player to watch out for on Attaboro. Of course. You got it. Foxborough's only up two with 5.09. Sampson from three. deep. Nice job by Mackenzie Anderson. Gets blocked, though. She's on the floor. Oh, great hustle by number one, Grace Mayer. McDonald has the ball, point guard. Comes out, 44. Pierce, Pierce. up top. Holy shit, Pierce the ISO. Stingo. Oh, and oh she got shot. hammered. What wow. a move. Sinks it. Wow, tie game with 4.43. That was Kobe Bryant-esque. Maybe not anymore. Lost his exactly. game. Exactly. Yeah. Right, over the mailing again. She's feeling it. Oh, oh off the top, top shot of the clock. backboard, Attleboro ball. I'm telling you, some of these young kids, some of these juniors are not afraid. Collins mailing. They're going to shoot that ball. Great to see. Sykes checks into the game along with Tammy Lonis. Well, Foxborough is looking really persistent with these three pointers. Definitely. They like to shoot them, that's for sure. Dale takes it up the court, looks to ISO. A chant from the fans chanting defense. Love to see that. McDonald takes a shot, rims out. Dale tips it out for the offensive board. Lisa Downs looking for an over the back. Taking a three. Oh, Pierce takes a three, rims, rims out. out again. Rebound. Oh, Samson looks to push. Shakes it down quick. Oh, and pulls up. That's a tough shot by oh, Samson. That's a tough shot. Great Ooh. board by nice Tammy rebound. Lonis. And they swing it around back to Samson. Ball moving really quick on the Foxborough side. Out to Mailing, over to over Sykes. 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 Three. Sykes got the three off the back rim. Oh, great play oh. by Samson. And Pierce stays with it. Push back it up to McDonald. Struggles to handle it on the side. Kicks it up top. Oh, in the corner. Taking a deep three. Air Ooh. ball by 23. Attleboro ball. Still a tie game, 22-22 with 3.26 left in the second. Quarter. Harrison's back in. She's a, a pure warrior. She is a pure warrior. She's not going to let that ankle bother her tonight. She bleeds blue and gold. Her senior season, nothing's going to stop her. Up to 44, Pierce. Will's on Pierce. Now Deo has it. Grace. Deo takes a three and rims oh, out. Oh, what a Pierce rebound by Pierce. Oh, and she goes up lefty and rims out. Oh, oh. Grace has got to dribble oh, that out. Deo with the hook. Foxborough like pushing oh. up for Sykes. Sykes under control. Fakes the three. Down to Samson in the corner. Over to Will. Great Harrison. movement. Harrison pulls. And nice. Hits, oh, hits, hits the three. three. That's what you need. You got to reverse that ball back to the backside for the open jumper. Oh, Samson reaches, no call. Oh, and oh reaches again goodness. and gets the ball. Oh, and the girls Great hit the hustle. floor. On the floor, nice Jump job. Ball. Possession arrow pointing to Alabama. 
Attleboro's ball. Sampson is cat-like. She's so quick. quick Able to slap the ball away. Foxborough is up by three points, 25-22. Sampson attempts the steal. Number 12, Jordan Lecko. Freshman is fiery. Very aggressive. You love to see it. The Bombardier is looking like a real force down low tonight. Definitely. The foul's on Carolyn Roll. That's her first. 25 22, Fox Bros up with 235 left in the game. Hits the first one. That's the first shot. Smalley's back in for Will. Getting the bulk up front with Smalley and Tammy Lonis down low. They are getting that rebound here in the second quarter. Lako, another Freshman one. makes them both. Wow. One point game here. Sykes, back to Samson at the point. Over to Harrison, down to the wing. Great back movement. Samson. Samson takes the shot. Good rebound out. by Pierce. Oh my oh, goodness. Great steal Quick by Samson, staying Samson. low. And Tammy Lonis takes a shot, rims out. Great board Off by shot. Harrison. Looks to kick it out. Kicks it out, Tammy Lonis with the shot. Hits the rim again. Fox Pro had multiple opportunities to hit shots there, just couldn't do oh, it. Oh, and Sykes with Great the steal. By Sykes. Oh, and Sykes gets absolutely humbled by number one, Grace Mayer. Great hustle by Sykes. Foxborough oh, forcing oh, turnovers oh, from oh, Attleboro, oh, giving them opportunities oh, on the other end. They got to hit them, though. They had three shots down there. They need to hit those. Oh, One of them. Neither team's in the penalty yet. Both have five team fouls. Oh, and Sykes with the hustle, but they call her out of bounds. And Smalley threw it away. Foxborough staying the man to man full court press here. Attleboro's been going deep on the last couple times, not this time. Back to 23, Logie. Kick ball. Kick ball by Sampson. Logie takes it out. They're running a play today out. She flashes up. Take it to the hole. She looks to go straight to the hoop. She got no hammered. No call. No call. Got to dribble out. Lisa oh, calls a timeout. Just Pass doesn't time. look too happy about that. She got hammered on the wrist by Smalley. Foxborough calls a good timeout there. Lisa calls that. Saw Harrison trapped underneath the basket. So we're at 25-24, exactly what we thought we were going to have with about a minute and 44 left in the half here. Great game so far. Very good game. Quick pace. Quick pace. You know. Now we're getting uh, we're getting comments from the Attleboro parents over here about fouls and stuff. So. No one seems too happy. No. I would really love to see what Lisa Downs is drawing up over there in the huddle right now. I know. What do you think? Uh, you know, she probably knows that Attleboro is going to press him here. It's all bit. about the pass fake against the zone defense. They're pass faking, get it to the middle, opens everything up. Yeah, the ball movement's been really good. It's been very good. They've been moving it around, looking for pockets. Don't have a lot inside, but they've had some open shots from the outside. Definitely. Birds and threes. So. So we come out here with about a minute 44 left with Smalley, um, Sykes, Tamulonis, Sampson, and Harrison. So they don't press, bring it out. Foxborough walks up with Sampson, gets inside to Smalley. Smalley gets stripped. By McDonald. Dale over to Logi. Mish takes it up. Great hands Ooh, by Ashley. Quick side. hands. Wow. Get a little, ball on the side. A little shot of the fan section tonight. Where are the fans? Seniors? The fans Crowd's are probably building. at the Two boys rows. Game. Two rows of fans. When I was in high school, everybody showed up. We should expect more as the season goes on, you know. Definitely. Hopefully. They went 21 and 3 last year, so the crowds got bigger as the season went on. Attleboro underneath the basket here. Foxborough stays in the uh, I believe the zone here. They pop it out to McDonald, takes a little baby jumper, converts. She pops. 
and he drops. Sampson over to Sykes, back to Sampson. Over to Harrison, deep. Oh, oh the off rim. the front rim. Off the fingertips of Smalley on the O board. Fox Row needs to get the offensive glass there. Albert looks to slow down. A minute left, 25 to 26 Albert. Low heat. Pierce with the ball up top. Shot clock down oh, to 14, she takes it deep. And oh, and down. she hits it. 44, Sam Pierce. That is a clutch three-pointer right there. She looked like Dirk Nowinski. That three-pointer sends him up by four. Samson with a risky pass. Gets the ball back up top. Foxborough moving it nicely around the zone. Looking for some pockets inside. Sykes takes a three and Sykes just it misses. In. And McDonald the board and throws it off of Sykes' leg. Great heads up play by McDonald. 21 seconds left, Foxborough down four. Lisa gets a sub in, Lisa, uh, Sue Wills in. Not Sue Wills. Who's it? Carolyn, Carolyn Will. Will. Comes in. Foxborough looking to get a turnover, but you only got seven seconds left here. Dale, Dale. seems to be taking the ball at the court. Dale's looking at the clock. Doesn't seem to great ball handling. They're gonna burn the clock. They look to post for Dale. in the middle. Good, Good job with the quick steal by Four Sykes. Four seconds left by Sykes. And the clock expires. Wow, they didn't stop the clock. Attleboro, 29. Foxborough, 25. This is real action-packed half here. Very fast-paced. A lot of good defense, a lot of good turnovers for Foxborough coming back the other way. I think they might be relying a little bit too much on the outside shot. They got to get some more uh, high percent shots inside. Definitely look to Smalley a little bit more down low. Definitely. Attleboro's very impressive. They got some bigs that can shoot. Uh, they're aggressive on the board. So um, Foxborough's in for a battle to try to get their first Hockamuck win. Dale, yeah, extremely impressive first half. Definitely, and uh, at halftime here, we're gonna find out where uh, Stacy Hooley is hiding, their number one player this year. All right, we're back here, Foxborough uh, Warriors versus uh, Attleboro Bombardiers. It's a great first half here. Um, Foxborough is down 29 to 25. Uh, it's been a really hard fought game. Har uh, Cassie Harrison's leading Foxborough with eight points. Smalley, Tamulonis, and Mailing have four points each for the, for the Warriors. Very evenly distributed scoring Definitely. tonight so far for the Foxborough Warriors. And that's what you like to see, consistency from a lot of different players. So let's see if Foxborough can take, get a good, uh, a good bunch of runs here. Push the ball up. Attleboro stays in their 2-3 zone. Oh, and Sykes, Sykes pulls the trigger. Three. And misses. Front rimmed it. Well, I'm hoping to see more play down in the paint for Foxborough this half. Yeah, again, they're relying a lot on that outside shot. Oh, oh they go deep. Brady to Amendola. Oh, oh but Attleboro can't goodness. finish the lay in. Easy oh, but points. the fight by number 12, the freshman, Jordan Laker. Wow. Attleboro is really active on the boards. That's going to be Foxborough's Achilles heel this year. They don't have a lot of size down below. Sampson over to Harrison. Oh, Harrison, Harrison skip cross pass. Court pass and Sykes pulls Sykes the trigger again. again. And she Bang, hits this hits time. Bang, hits it. She hits a three. Lily Sykes brings it to 31-28. Great outside shot. They have up to Loji. Loji takes baseline. Oh, Mish kick the out. great pass to Pierce. And Pierce, Pierce finishes and, and one. one. And she seems hyped up about that one. Unbelievable fast break passing by Attleboro. And that's going to give Attleboro some quick energy. Great way to start the half. Sue, uh, I keep saying Sue Will. It's um, Carolyn Will comes in for uh, Shannon Smalley. And she misses. Oh, and the O board. And another rebound and another with and the one. foul. Two. And I think Tammy Lawrence just picked up her third foul. And Lisa Downs looks upset. Subbing in Shannon Smalley. Great shot. Great shot. Right over the ref's shoulder. Ref's vision. Dash. Dash. Extremely focused. 
Day I was showing her experience. Getting around Tammy Lawrence, getting the ball, putting it back up. Oh, but they miss. They can't complete either three-point play. Board by Will. Sampson brings it up. Sampson over to Sykes. Sykes launching from three again. And Bang, she hits it. She's on a roll. That's how you stay in games. Good push off by McDonald. Alvaro ball on the side. Fox Bros got to match their intensity. Ashley swings it over to Sykes, and Sykes hits the deep three. Great shot. What a stroke. Oh, and Pierce fights for it, and Samson oh. comes away with the steal. Foxborough, another steal. Foxborough needs four right now to tie it up. Oh, and Smalley gets absolutely. Good movement. Wow. Oh, Dayow with a nice lay-in. Alibro pushing it up and transitioning, playing Foxborough's game right now. Alibro up 37-31, 6-15 left in the third quarter. Harrison launches for three. Oh, and hits the three. Those three pointers are keeping him in the game right now. Wow, great shooting by Foxborough tonight. Man to man, full court press here. And Pierce looks to take it. Samson, Smalley. I mean, uh, Smalley way out here. Oh, McDonald gets oh, stripped by Samson, and Samson gets hammered. But no He's call. Smalley taking it to the hole, kicks it Break. out. Sykes for three. Oh. oh, right off the back rim. Oh, and they call ball. it out. Lisa disagrees ball. vehemently. Extremely upset, Lisa Downs. I agree with her. Foxborough playing. No, they drop back. No, they're, they're trying to trap here at half oh, court. Oh, Dayo. Dayo having to do a lot of the guards work right now. Oh, oh that's a walk. Turnover. A freshman, freshman mistake. Turnover. Yeah. She's played very well so far, but that's, uh, that's a freshman mistake right there. Foxborough ball. Foxborough's got to take these turnovers and convert them into baskets here. Down by three with 530. Oh, just off for Harrison, trying to hit the three. McDonald brings the ball up. Skip oh, pass over. Oh, almost Harrison stolen by it. Harrison. Pierce takes it up top, passes to McDonald. Chris Kroska trying to dump and it Pierce in. Pierce pulls Dale. up. Deo has position on Will. Almost hits it. Samson with another rebound. Looks to push. Samson over to Sykes. Sykes up top. Great Quick pass face. Amazing. Foxborough's looking to slow it down right now. Oh, and Will takes a jumper and there hits it. There you go. It. Will's very consistent from that point of the court. Baseline jump shot. By Beautiful Will. shot by Carolyn. And Foxborough's within one. 4.46 to go. And another kick ball with Foxborough. Quick thinking by Sampson. Sampson's all over the court on defense. Unbelievable play by her. She's pressing a little bit on offense, has not scored yet, I don't believe, tonight. So she's pressing a little bit there, but her defense is fantastic tonight. Foxborough's in the man-to-man -man still, playing man-to-man -man against Attleboro. Will is denying Day out down low. They're pulling it out, going to reset. Attleboro's resetting here with uh, Mish Logie. Over to McDonald, over to Dayow. And she gets traveling called on her, wow. Dayow thinks that that's funny. <laughs> Dayow thought there was a foul on the wrist there, but they called the walk before the foul. Sampson's bringing it up as the point guard, look to trap her at midcourt, gets it into Will, Will down Great two. break. And they look to Bailing. slow things down. Now Sampson, Sampson pulls it. Shot. Oh, just up short. short. Oh, Harrison almost has it, but Dayow gets Dayo. it. Throwing Amazing elbows. Rebound. Dale, aggressive board. Pierce Sam comes up. Pierce. Back to McDonald. Sykes on McDonald. Man to man. Fights through the pick. Day out posting down. They're looking to Day out post. Oh, and Pierce kicks to McDonald. McDonald pulls Good and just misses. Good by Will. Good rebound Immediate by Sampson. Immediate fast break by Sampson. Oh, and she pulls. Great oh, block by the by freshman. The freshman. Right into the oh, and Day out gets it. And lays it in. And one. Not a smart foul. Got to yeah. be smart on those fast breaks. Quite the impressive player. Wow, what a play coming back the other way. Mailing's got to hammer her so she can't get that shot up. Yeah.
Going for the traditional three here for Dayal. And sinks it. New player comes in that we've never seen before here. And she's not on the roster. I think she they just took her off the uh, JV in the fan section. Yeah, she's a free agent. So Sykes up top over to Sampson. We got Harrison in the corner. We got Mailing in the corner. Nice uh, with the pick. pick by Will. Cross court pass by Sykes. Down in the corner to Harrison. Always got to have a hand up on Harrison. She's not afraid to shoot. Shot clock down to five. Oh. Harrison launches. Oh, oh yeah. She hits wow. it. Example. She hits it. She stops, pops, and it drops. Now she's playing defense on the other end. Right back on D. I like it. Oh, and the freshman is. Oh, they call foul on Sykes the on the sideline. Foxborough down one with three minutes left in the third quarter here. Those three point plays, uh, three point shots have kept them in the game, guys. Yep. If it wasn't for that, they'd be uh, getting beat up pretty good here. Alibro on the side, dumps it into Dayow. Good help by Harrison. Kicks it out to Pierce. Pierce sinks it. She drains the elbow shot. That's a difference this year. You got more shooters on Alibro than you did last year. Oh, and kicks it to Harrison That's in the corner. Yeah. Oh, and oh. hits the backboard. Sorry. Unlucky. McDonald looking to push it again. Oh, and the free agent travels. Number 31. Out of our coach getting a little heated on the side. I think he wanted McDonald to pull it out and call a play. Here comes Samson up top. Dishes over to Will. Will kicks out the mailing over to Samson, over to Sykes. Back to Samson, looking inside. She's got Harrison on behind the uh, zone there. Playing the 2-3. Oh, mailing, mailing pulls up. Another oh. three. Off the back rim. Foxborough's got to get back on defense. The they do. It's three on one. Dayhouse trying to take it. Great strip by Sykes as the ball falls out of bounds. Good defense by Foxborough sprinting back on D. Foxborough staying the man-to-man -man underneath the basket here. Got to watch for picks. Watch the lob into Dayal. Kick it out to Leko. Leko with a scoop shot. Gets her own rebound. Awkward drive. Great Gets strip tripped. by Sykes. <coughs> Sykes looks to push. Got oh, and she pulls two. it out. They had a two on two. Oh. And Harrison travels. Foxborough had a two on two, but pulled it back. Sykes pulled it back. Good decision. Alvaro leads 42 39 with two minutes left in the third quarter. Lake out comes out, freshman. Mish Loji back in. Sykes on McDonald up top here. McDonald gets the pick by Dayal. Sykes fights through it. Will's got her hands full with Dayal. Oh, and Mish Loji, looks Loji to huck a pass. Back up to McDonald. Oh, nice oh, Great pass by, by McDonald and the finish by Dayo. Dayo seems almost Dayo. unstoppable right now. Dayo has unbelievable footwork underneath the basket. Sykes over to Samson, back to Sykes. Sykes wants to take the helm. And Samson, Samson pulls launches and hits three. it. Gets it, that's a three. So many three point shots tonight for the Warriors. My goodness. Foxborough is still behind three. Fox goes behind three, 44-41. McDonald looks a pass and turns it over. And Sykes with a great pass to Samson as she finishes Samson. the layup. She lays it in and gets her first Quick. point. Six, Extremely seven, stressful eight. press for Alibro. Alibro seems a little rattled here. Fox goes get him on the ropes. Oh, and Pierce pulls it. Pierce launches. Doesn't hit. Great box out by Sykes and the over the back call. Over the back by 31, the unknown player. Great job by Sykes. Small in stature, big in the heart. Seal the defender boxing out. So you see Sampson starting to get warmed up here. She's getting in the mix, scoring a little bit. A three and a two, back to back. Back Great to back. Game in for up. Anderson. Sykes is going to take the ball down. Yep, Anderson's in now. Up top in the middle. Sykes over to Sampson. Sampson back to Sykes. You got Harrison down low. Mailing down low. Sykes pops, and it drops. <laughs> oh, wow. My goodness. 
Foxborough takes the lead, 47-44 with 32 seconds left in the quarter. Oh, and the free agent takes it. Oh, Anderson oh and they call the it. charge. Anderson takes what the charge. What a swing of emotions for the Foxborough Warriors. My goodness, they're on a serious run right now. Foxborough's on a serious run. They're on a six-point run right now. 26 left in the third, 47-44. Foxborough's leading. They got 25 seconds here. Let's see if they hold for the last, uh, last shot. Shot clock is off. Moving the ball really well here. Anderson coming up. Oh, and the tip by McDonald. Great hustle on defense. Again, Foxborough's got to reverse that ball quicker. Oh, and she's called for the reach in. McDonald, number 20. Sampson in the Sykes. You got Mailing on the backside here. Harrison flashing up. Mackenzie Anderson. Oh, great post move. Hall. Oh, oh. Ah. She all right. Harrison's getting beat up out there tonight. But she's a true warrior, stays in. Foxborough stacks on the key. 3.3 seconds, she's got to shoot it. Oh, it doesn't get doesn't it off get in it time. Off. Nope. Good try by Foxborough. 10 to third quarter, Foxborough 47. Alibro 44. Unbelievable. There's a six point run at the end by Foxborough here. So it'll be interesting, guys, if you see if Attleboro goes to man-to-man. -to -man. I mean, they're getting absolutely torched staying in that zone. Yep. I mean, Fox Bros killed them. So we'll have to see how they come out, what personnel they come out with. We'll see who Foxboro comes out with here. Um, but it looks like uh, maybe uh, potentially putting in, no, Flayhab's not going in. So I think Tammy Lonis checks in. Okay, Tammy Lonis is in. Looks like Collins is in also. Yeah, Tammy Lonis has three fouls, I believe, in the game. So uh, he's, she's held her out this long, but now she needs her underneath to rebound and, and offensively score. So uh, that's going to be real big. Shannon Smalley has been out for a, a while as well because they've been getting all their shots from the outside. They need those guards to hit their shots. So. Yep. It's going to go right down to the wire here. Um, it's going to be a good one. We'll see what happens here. Absolutely. I mean, Attleboro's bench is not very deep. They go like six or seven deep. That's pretty much it. Lisa's played everybody tonight, so Foxborough should be well rested here in the fourth. Okay, so they implement, they put uh, Tammy Lonis, like we said, but they also put Collins in there. The junior guard is in. They keep Anderson in and Sykes and Sampson. Attleboro ball on the side here at half court. Looking to get it McDonald or, or uh, Laco. To get in Quick Deo. Deo. Oh, great. Oh, great hustle by Collins. Good job by Collins. She anticipated that uh, give and go pass. Alabama can't seem to inbound, bits. and they just Looks get it in. McDonald up top. They're doubling Dayo in the post. Double entry. Dayo's height is really a killer in this game. Swings it. So Foxborough goes back into the 2-3 zone. Looking for Dayo, and they swing it over to the freshman. Oh, no, when she walks. Shuffling of the feet. The freshman jitters the rest of the game. Yep. It's interesting, Foxborough went back to the 2-3 zone because Alabama really hasn't hit that many outside shots. Everything is in the paint. Over to Riley, over to Tammy Lonis. Oh, oh Tammy Lonis she gets, gets rejected blocked. by Pierce. Coming back the other way to Laco. Laco misses the layup. Oh, watch out from behind. Oh, and number four. That's a hard hit. Hard hit down by uh, by Sykes from behind. He's gonna get right back up inbound. Let's oh. see replay. the replay of the violent hit. Oh wow. A little trip there. Should be a flagrant one, in my opinion. Looks like an offensive guard for the Patriots coming around the corner, full <laughs> blocking. All right, here we go. Over to Sykes. Up top, we got Anderson flashing to the ball here. Get into Anderson, kicks it out to Collins. Yeah, look into Collins Anderson back again. To Anderson. And Samson, Samson takes it, kicks it out to Collins. Looks to drive. Samson She's got takes baseline. a baseline. She gets oh, the great rebound, puts oh. it up. No. Nope. Gets blocked. Oh. Mackenzie Anderson gets blocked and seems to be Alamora ball. Lisa wants some half court pressing. 
Sykes picks up McDonald. Forcer left. McDonald wants her right, you can tell. Sykes on her. Anderson on, on Pierce here. Good give and go. Good help defense by Riley Collins. Nice job defense. Sampson looks to push it. Takes it up to the court, to the corner. Tammy Linus has the ball. Swings it over to Sykes. They'd like to see Foxborough set it and run a play here. Going against the 2-3 zone. Tammy oh, Linus kicks to Sampson. Great. Bang, great nice finish. job. Great shot by Sampson. Even better feed from Tammy Linus. Great little give and go there by Foxborough. Yeah, power play right there. Tammy Lawrence has got a big job of uh, Deo down low. She's going to need some help with Deo. Denying her the ball. Sykes up top on McDonald. Ashley on Laco. Oh, they run Get it free. to Pierce. She seems to be open. Mackenzie's got to move her feet quickly. Oh, she takes oh, base. Oh, Pierce line. gets the reverse lay-in to My go. Goodness. That was a beautiful reverse layup by Pierce. Pierce is only a sophomore. Foxborough quick back on offense. Foxborough looks a little lethargic here. They gotta speed it up, move the ball around, find open Colin shots. Collins takes like a that. three. It's off a little bit. Attleboro gets the rebound but loses it. Oh, how is that Attleboro ball? Miss P is up in arms right now. <laughs> Attleboro ball. Foxborough is not full court pressing right now like they did in the beginning of the game. They're dropping back, going back to man to man, so they're mixing it up. Sykes on McDonald here. Looks like Coach Patch is calling a play in Memphis. They're gonna, every play involves Dayo for Attleboro. They're screening off for her. She's flashing to the ball. Oh, oh what a block. play by Sampson. Oh. oh, she got hammered. Anderson gets hammered by Laco. He's got to be getting two or three, two or three fouls at this point. Interesting story about McDonald. This is only her second year playing basketball. Really? Point guard for Attleboro. Yep. Wow. Great athlete, you can tell. Sykes has the ball up top here. Over to Grace, back to Sykes. Sampson flashing to the ball here. Sampson with it. She wants to take Lake out to the hole. Oh, Sampson pulls the trigger from seconds. deep. Close. Great crash by it. Deo comes down to it. Deo fights the ball with Tammy Lonis and gets it out to Lake out here. The freshman gets it. Foxborough back, we got 446 left. Foxborough's up by three. 49-46. Laco cuts the ball, Sampson impedes her. Here comes Pierce oh, against Pierce Smalley. Pierce wants the ISO, she calls it. Looking to tie it. Laco deep, it off the no. top. Off the top. And that's a shot clock violation. Shot clock violation by Attleboro. Foxborough ball. That was a great defensive stand for Foxborough. They really needed to stop them there. Oh yeah, Foxborough's up 49-46. It's 4-22 left in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the seconds here. Sampson Sykes in a crunch time here. Leading the team. Over to Collins. On oh, Sampson looks to drive. Sampson. Good pick by Smalley. Oh, back to Sampson. Open she pulls it. Oh, just misses. Great rebound. Sykes oh, looks rebound. great pass by Sykes. Oh, and the ref calls a foul. Foul on Smalley after she's uh, trying to go back up for, uh, and get a rebound, her own rebound. Uh, good look to Smalley. That's where you want the ball. You want an inside high percentage shot. She had it, just couldn't sink it. Yep. Patch call and play here. Patch directing traffic for this Idle Row team. They're spreading it out on Foxborough here. Day out with the ball. Grace on her. Good help by Sykes. And 12 steps in. Lake out comes ball. up Two super feet short. short. Oh, oh Deo draws a foul. Lake has got a, I mean, um, Deo. Deo has a nose for the ball. She really does. She's and Lisa Downs calls a timeout. And Haley Manning seems to be checking in for Riley Collins.
So you wonder if uh, Harrison might be coming back in soon. They probably kind of need her offense, um, you know. But I think that, you know, the Achilles heel of Foxborough here is the rebounding, you know. They just don't have the bigs, and they're getting that rebound. So yep. Alibro's getting second and third shots. I feel like they've done a little better job in the fourth quarter trying to double Deo, not yep. letting him get inside. Definitely. Um, and, and Foxborough, you know, is launching the threes, and from way outside, they have gotten a few good looks inside, but they haven't been able to convert them yet. So, uh, you know, you'd like to see them get some high percentage shots here with about three minutes and 36 seconds left and up three. So Dayo's going to be going to the line for two. Nobody's in the penalty right now. It's uh, six fouls for Foxborough, five for Attleboro. So we're not in the bonus yet. That's going to come into play at the end of the fourth quarter. Yep. You're going to have a bonus situation where you got to make uh, you got to make foul shots. So Dayab coming out to the line. Foxborough comes <laughs> in with mailing. Uh, Tamulonis, Sampson, Smalley, and Sykes. Dayab at the line, shooting two. They have sinks the first shot. Oh, and Dan sinks them both. Hits them both, and she glares at uh, Pat Flair Flannery, <laughs> who's yelling during the shot. <laughs> so Foxborough up by one here with three, 326 left. Moving the ball nicely against the zone. Oh, double, double dribble, dribble on Sampson. Tried, <clears throat> tried to penetrate that zone, just couldn't get it done. Foxborough drops back. 49 Sykes to up. 48. Foxborough with the lead of 320 left. Foxborough trying to deny the pass. Oh, great play by Ashley Sampson. Foxborough trying to deny the pass to McDonald so that she can't run the offense. Good idea by Lisa Downs there because she's really the only true ball handler that they have. Oh, and they get it to Dayon. Oh, and Pierce pulls up in the corner. And Bang! That's Pierce a two. Gets two, and they take the they take the lead, 50 to 49. Pierce has been ice Lights water out. tonight. Ice. For the Sykes, Tim Lewis in the corner, back up. Back up to Mailing, down to Sampson. Sampson drives baseline, goes up. That's absolutely stuffed by Pierce. Great hustle by Smalley hitting the floor. And they call a Foxborough ball. Wow, they call a Foxborough ball. No foul, no blood, no foul there. My goodness. Pierce is just a beast on the court tonight. Yes, Foxborough ball. Yeah, Pierce, and, uh, Pierce and Dale mean business. Definitely. Foxborough looking inside, but throwing around the perimeter, over to Mailing. Sykes on the perimeter, over to Sampson. Shot clock running down. Nice baby hook by, uh, by Smalley, but she can't convert it. And McDonald takes the ball. Goes awry. 2.15 left, down by one. Sykes man to man. Pierce one on one with Smalley. Oh, and she pulls up stop right here. and hits the backboard. Good job by Smith. Oh, Attleboro. Attleboro, yeah, gets the key rebound. And Pats with the quick timeout. Two minutes left. Who are the young guy coaches from Attleboro with the bow ties? <laughs> no idea. Do we have any idea who they are? Possibly Jim Blase, Connor Patch. Okay. Seth Markley. Gotcha. The young coaches, my goodness. The assistant coaches for Foxborough, Brian Brown, Callie Derby. Jamie Kelly, who's the new JV coach, and uh, Ellie Petrovic. So they do a great job uh, with this high school program. Um, got it back up to where it should be at the top. So, um, so we'll see what Foxborough does here. Uh, timeout by, Le uh, by Patch, actually. Foxborough still has a good, uh, I think, a few timeouts if they need them um, in crunch time. But two minutes and down one. So I, I guess this is uh, crunch time right now. So Foxborough will be coming out here. Um, 
playing defense against Attleboro. Attleboro's got the ball on the side. You can't say enough about Pearson uh, and Day out for Attleboro. And then on our side, you know, you got Sykes, uh, Sampson, um, Harrison kind of running the show from the outside perimeter. It's a bunch of offensive scorers. Yeah, some real, real good offensive uh, players on both teams. Both teams take the court. So Foxborough going man to man here, trying to press the issue. Samson jumping up and down. Oh. Oh. Great play by Sykes to let that go out of bounds. Good play by Sykes, very heady play. The Alabama fans are very upset. Same with Coach Patch. Tough call right there. Samson up top, passes it down to Harrison. Harrison's back in the game, the senior captain. Carolyn Will down low, We've got Grace in the middle. Sykes with the ball, over to Will. Back to Sykes. Kicks it out to Harrison, Harrison. deep three. Rims oh. off. Great crash by Samson. Samson on the Samson's floor. On the ball. Oh, oh my goodness, my how's that no happen? Jump ball called. Oh, they throw oh, it away. Oh, goes away. through Tamulonis' hands, and Deo misses oh, the layup on the it. other end. That my goodness. play right there. You're gonna trap her on the sideline here. You gotta use your timeout. And Lisa there Downs calls a timeout. Lisa, Lisa Downs calls a timeout. Gets the timeout oh. just in time. Lisa had those timeouts in her back pocket and it really worked there. She pulled them out. So Foxborough misses a nice, uh, a good look down, down from three. Great tries look. to get the rebound. Doesn't get it, comes back. And Dayow misses the layup, the gimme. So Foxborough still stays uh, down one but they have possession of the ball going the other way here. Very rare to see Dale miss a layup exactly. like that. Exactly. I mean, I think this has been a pretty clean game for the refs. I mean, you haven't really noticed them too much, so that means they're doing a good job. Yep. You know, so, uh, so good job by the refs tonight. And uh, we'll see if Foxborough has it in them. They got a really young team, only a couple seniors, three seniors here. They got a real young team. We'll see gonna ha how they can handle this. Uh, one minute and 16 seconds left. Down one, they have possession of the ball. Shot clock still on. Sykes looks to inbound the ball to Sampson. You gotta figure Sykes, I mean Sampson's gonna take it to the hole and try to get fouled here. You wanna try to get it a good high percentage shot, try to get fouled. Yep. No, nope, they yeah, go Samson three. Oh my goodness, she got hammered on the arm. Beautiful pass by McDonald. And they can't convert it. Foxborough's got numbers coming back the other way. Two on two. Sykes slows it down. Slows it down. Oh, and Grace pulls the three. Oh, rims out. Foxborough's not, shouldn't foul here. Jump ball. Good job, jump Great ball. It might hustle. be Alboro. No, it's Foxborough Fox ball. Foxborough right. ball. Possession Fox error to ball. Foxborough. Pat seems pretty upset with that call. 45 seconds. Close game right here. The refs. Fox, they yeah. only needed two. Foxborough's only down one point. One point, 49-50 with 43 seconds to go. Sampson with the ball at the top of the key. Lisa Downs calling a play. Over the they swing it over. I wonder if Lisa's going to call a timeout here. Oh, and Sampson. There it is. Oh, Samson. Pierce with the ball. No call. Wow. It looked like there was Tamalonis contact there. And the no call by the refs is a risky one. 23 seconds left. I can't see it. 26, 26 seconds up. left. Down one. 50 to 49. The minute I, com I complimented the refs, they swallowed their whistles and aren't calling any <laughs> fouls here. At all. I mean, there had to, there was some contact down there, right? Yeah, there had to be. I saw it. You know, end of the game, you got to call that. There's contact going up to the hoop. Oh, she and Mish misses. Out. Great board by Smalley. Nice Smalley. And Smalley, Smalley stutters. You got to figure Lisa. Lisa should call a timeout. No. Nope. This is the game right here. This is the game. 20 seconds left. Oh, and they get it to Sampson. Oh, and they call an offensive. Out of our ball, 15 seconds My left. My goodness. Offensive foul. What a call. I didn't see her feet set. 
Samson seems upset about that That's call. a gutsy call at the end of the game. Let's see it here. We'll Samson see if her feet were set. With the ball. In my opinion, her feet were not set. That should have been yeah, a block. Yeah, it looked like she was moving a little bit there. Foxborough's got a foul. Foxborough's got oh, a foul right call there. A foul. Attleboro has been very inconsistent Three. from the line tonight. They got to be below the 50% mark tonight. So good foul there. 13 seconds, down one. It's one and one. I don't know if it's one and one. Is that a nine? Yeah, it's a nine. So it's uh, it's, one, yeah, one it's still on one, one still. and one. Still one and one, not double bonus. Huge free yet. throws from McDonald, second year. Foxborough's going to be active on the boards here. And Bang. she it. Oh, Alex and she talks to the game. crowd. Wow, that's the last thing you want to do as a player, talk to the crowd and let them get in your head. She did it. She's extremely proud that she made that shot. All right, here she comes back for the second the pressure one. pressure is on right here for McDonald. She hits it. Foxborough down it. three. Wow. Now we're going to have to expect a three right here from Foxborough. Sampson. Sampson down to Smalley. Oh, kick that out. Oh, and Cassie takes it. Oh, and the no oh, call. And, three. and that. And they three foul again. Left. Why is Foxborough shooting a two? Why are they, they need to get a three, didn't they? Yep. Should have taken the three there. Kicked yeah, it you out. Yeah, you got you to bring it out, reset. You still had about 13 seconds left. Kick it out. Big mistake on Foxborough's part. I wonder if Driving Foxborough has any paint. timeouts. Yeah, I believe they still do have some timeouts, potentially two. But there's only three seconds left now. This ices it if she makes it. Important play. And she no, misses. she misses. They're in a double bonus right now. This, this is big right here. And a timeout. She calls a timeout. Lisa calls a timeout there. So what do you think about that? What do you, what do you think their mentality was? They weren't sure what the time was or the score? I believe they just wanted two? to get some points on the board and maybe make the other team miss some free throws and take it down again and win the game. So you make it two and then you foul immediately? Yeah. Because they've I been missing their foul there's shots. there's some young players out there and the nerves are getting to them. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they sort of knew what the time was or what was going on there. So, uh, so Foxburgh's uh, behind the eight ball here. If... Uh, if Dayal makes this, uh, that'll be it. That'll be a four-point lead with three seconds left. But right now, it's only a three-point lead. But again, only 3.3 .3 seconds left. So uh, if she misses it, Foxborough will have to hustle it down for a three quickly. And that's what I'm sure Lisa's uh, drawing up right now is somebody standing at the three-point line waiting for a pass if, uh, if Dayal misses it. Attleboro comes out. This would be a huge win for Attleboro. Foxborough blew them out last year in the first game of the year. This would be a huge win for them. Huge win for their program. That's been down for a lot of years until yep. Patch, Patch came in last year. Big free throw for Dale. Dale shoots it and, and hits it. it. That's a big point right there. That's it, they let Foxborough go down and shoot. Three. Bang, she hits, hits it. They it. lose by one. Foxborough loses by That's one. That's a 53, tough game right there. 52. A one-point game to end it. First the, game of the season. Yep, to the Attleboro Bombardiers. You got to give Attleboro kudos. They've really improved from last year. Yeah. A lot better shooting team, more physical up front. But Foxborough should be proud of their effort. Made some beautiful three-point plays. Um, again, they're going to have to work on their, their post game down low, uh, work on their rebounding game. And uh, if they shore that up, uh, they still have a great chance, obviously, to win the Davenport division. It's good to lose early in the season, too. Maybe they can rally and win the next few. Right, exactly. So again, looks like your leading scorer for Foxborough was, uh, was probably uh, Harrison coming in with like 10, 12 points tonight. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of strong shooting with Foxborough. And the other thing to remember is you got Bordelotti sitting on the bench, should yeah. be back in a couple of weeks from the concussion. That will so be a huge addition. That will be team. huge. She's a slasher and she can shoot the threes as well. So uh, Definitely. 
So that's pretty much it. 53-52 barn burner tonight against Attleboro. We got Canton on uh, the game change to Thursday night. So it's Thursday night at 6.30 right here in Foxboro, Foxboro High School. So uh, any last comments, guys? Nope, that's it. Tough loss, but hopefully the uh, girls team can rally and win the next game against Ken. You got it. Great game by both teams. Just got to come back from it, learn, fix those mistakes, and they'll have a good season. You got it. Sky's the limit for the Foxborough Lady Warriors. Thanks for coming and listening tonight, everybody, and uh, we'll see you on Thursday night. Struggling to get it.